Hello everyone, my name is Kahar and I'm a library assistant at the Monterey County Free Libraries and today I'm going to be reviewing the book The Gilded Ones by Namina Forna. Now, just trying to get a close-up of the cover because I really enjoyed it. So, um, I did want to give a quick trigger warning if um, the book does contain off-screen uh, child abuse and um, rape. So if that is definitely something you don't want to be reading, then I would definitely um, suggest not reading this. Okay, um, but getting into the book, um, I'm going to read the cover first. It just says, 16-year-old Decca lives in fear and anticipation of the blood ceremony. That will determine whether she becomes a member of, the, of her village. Already different from everyone else because of her unnatural intuition, Decca prays for red blood so she can finally feel like she belongs. But on the day of the ceremony, her blood runs gold, the color of impurity. And Decca knows she will face a consequence worse than death. Then a mysterious woman comes to her with a choice, stay in the village and submit to her fate, or leave and fight for the emperor in an army of girls just like her. They are called Alaki, near immortals with rare gifts, and they are the one, only ones who can stop the empire's greatest threat. Knowing the danger that lies ahead, yet yearning for acceptance, Decca decides to leave the only life she's ever known. But as she journeys to the capital to train for the biggest battle of her life, she discovers that the great walled city holds many surprises, Nothing and no one are quite what they seem to be, not even Decca herself. In this bold and immersive fantasy, a young heroine fights to save a world that would dare to tame her and discover that she is her own fiercest weapon. Now the next part I wanted to show you real quick is this page. This is a map of the world that we're going to be immersing ourselves in. And I just love maps in a fantasy book. I think they are really indicative of um, an author's ability to... Uh, get you into that world, you know, spatially, um, just so you know, like, how far apart cities are or places are, I think they're really g great, and I think they indicate how um, good a book can, can be, not always um, a, the best um, indicator, but I think it is one of them. Um, so I was really excited when I saw the map, um, and kind of uh, first could see how I could, you know, integrate myself into the, into this world. Speaking of the world, um, I did really enjoy the world building that Forna does. I thought she did a really great job of it. Um, and I think it was really fleshed out throughout the book. So you didn't just get it initially. Um, it was, it kind of slowly came and I really enjoyed that aspect of it just because I, sometimes I don't always want to be introduced to the world right away. Like I want the mystery of like, oh, how does this work? Um, so I thought kind of um, playing the long game like Forna did was really a um, nice way to get it. And I think she um, will even do some more in her second book. So the other aspect of the book that I really like is the theme. Um, the theme, uh, one of the, there's a lot of themes, but one of the themes I really enjoyed was the feminism and the fight against patriarchy. Um, and it's just quite blatant in this book how much um, patriarchy is a huge part of this world. Um, and you see it even as a, f a feminine heroine is the main character. Um, she has to fight against all this like systemic issues that are already um, against her. And so in order, for, uh, we kind of see the transformation that she goes through from the beginning of the book to the end of the book and kind of her journey to fight against patriarchy and what it, what it means for her uh, and kind of the oppression that she has to overcome. And I thought um, to explore that in a fantasy world um, it was just really interesting and the way Forna did it was also really nice. Um, it felt really easy. Um, it wasn't like too difficult to uh, understand what she was going for, um, but she, yet she was so fleshed out that you could totally see the intention behind it as well. If you're looking for romance or something like that, I there, there wasn't really a lot of romance. It's sprinkled in there, um, but I never really thought it was the main point of it. Um, an aspect of relationship I did really like was the um, aspect of sisterhood. Um, it was really quite prevalent. It was really um, nicely fleshed out again. Um, and it was just very nice to see uh, the relationship the main character builds throughout the book. Um, with her uh, blood sisters, as they say, all right? So that is really my overall take on The Gilded Ones. Um, I am looking forward to the second book that's coming out in late 2022. Um, so I will be reading that very shortly. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any thoughts and comments, please leave it behind, leave it under. And if you have any suggestions, leave them under as well. All right, thank you. Happy reading.